As far as political ideologies go, none is more universally reviled than fascism. Although the movement was only in effect for a short while in a select few countries, its repercussions are still felt to this day. So what exactly is fascism? Essentially, fascism was born out of the idea that rational egalitarian democracies would ultimately lead to severe crisis and weakness. Around the late 1800s, a more irrational and emotional structure based on social Darwinism began to over overtake the idea that people should have equality. Instead, fascism promised to create the rebirth of a new, stronger, and greater society stripped of all its weaknesses. Some point to Italian writer and poet Gabriele D'Annunzio as the originator of this ideology. During the 1930s and 40s, it saw significant influence, first in Italy, then in Germany, and finally Japan, although a large number of countries borrowed the ideology around the same time. In effect, fascism operates under a strict doctrine. First off, it attempts to unify countries under a single genetic banner. Often, this nationalism includes the concept of racial or cultural purity as a method of weeding out weakness. Hitler used this to paint Jews and other groups as not being part of a pure Aryan race and thus worthy of being eliminated. Second is the total control of society and people by the state called totalitarianism. Citizens are expected to have unwavering faith in a single party ruling elite, in nearly all cases, a dictator. It is intended to directly oppose pluralism, which is the ability of multiple parties to compete for power. Economically, fascism seeks to solve the problems of materialist capitalism and Marxist socialism. In practice, countries did this by promoting private enterprise and handsomely rewarding successful businessmen while abolishing unions. However, the state would only allow businesses which served and promoted the national interests. They also sought to ban foreign trade to avoid becoming dependent on any other country. The end goal is to become fully self-sufficient and to be able to allocate significant resources towards the military. Fascism is also intensely supportive of violence to achieve political means. That specifically includes removing weak people from the fascist state either by executing or deporting them, all through strict social laws enforced by a violent police army. In the 30s, these were Hitler's brown shirts and Mussolini's black shirts. 